Hello. Hey. Welcome back to another recap video. Elimination Chamber. Yeah, tonight was crazy. Awesome. It was a pretty good one. Had a lot some of good, surprises. Had some good matches. Had some boring matches. Yeah, but of course the kickoff was I care to rise over Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight Championship. Buddy won. Next. Of course Buddy won with the Murphy's Law. Pretty yeah. much was that. No, you could have just done. Good. You could have just said Buddy won there. Cut, print, there you go. Um, next match was the first ever for the women's tag team titles in an elimination chamber. Oh, yeah. uh, Sasha and Bailey started out with Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, and then rounded. No. Riot Squad came out next. You were thinking you're. Then th Iconics, then Naomi and Carmella. The Nia Jackson to Mina. Yeah. Now. The Iconics got their first victory by pinning Naomi. Uh, Naomi. So Naomi and Carmella got eliminated. Then Nia Jax and Tamina end up ripping the Iconics out of one of the chambers they try to hide in. So they, those, uh, the Iconics got eliminated. They're pretty much like a tornado. Oh. And then some point in the middle, the in the middle of the match, Nia Jax uh, end up. Um, she was gonna ram spear um, Bailey. Was it Bailey through the yeah. chamber? But she went through. Nia Jax went through and actually hit her head on one of the metal poles in the chamber. So she was knocked out. And then everybody started beating up on Tamina, and they got uh, those two. Those got eliminated, which I think is crap. Yeah. Um. Pretty much, Nia and Tamina pinned a Conch from my squad. That was just pretty much. Pretty much, here's who. Here's the winner. I, everybody knew it was Sasha and Bailey. Yep. Yeah. You happy Sasha Bailey won? I know the Sasha Bailey fan fans are, but I mean we saw it coming a mile away. Yeah, it was funny how Bailey was all, you know, all mile. hurt and all someone. When they went, Sasha. they win the belts. Then she's like, Yay, yay, yay! I'm better. I'm all better. Yeah. Um, there was Shane McMahon versus the Usos. But the first thing that yeah, happened the was the Miz came out, and we had Maurice, and they came, they said that they're having another baby. It's coincidental that on Total uh, Total Bellas, Brie, uh, Daniel Bryan wants to have another baby with Brie, and they can't because she wants to do her career. And now Maurice comes out, and she, th those two are having another baby. Before they even announced it, I looked at her belly. She looked a little, little fat. So, yeah, that kind of, and then they announced it. So it well, was she was weird. always fat. Uh, yeah, it was weird. All right, so it's the uh, Mizzle Mac versus the Usos. Yeah. And it was actually pretty cool. I forgot it was a shock. Yep. Yeah. The Usos, actually, Jimmy Uso actually won for the Usos. So oh. they're the new title, tag team titles. Yeah. Miz is taking it pretty hard. Yeah, he... He's like, he okay. dedicated to his family and his unborn child, and he lost. Yeah, he, he was about to do a skull crush. Well, he did a skull crush rally. He ha was hesitating to pin. Well, he couldn't because he looked like he ran out of stamina. Then as he pinned on the second count, J uh, Jimmy reversed it into a uh, roll-up, and there you go. He got the victory. Um, that was that. Then you got the next one. Oh yeah, a two-on-one handicap match: Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley versus Finn Balor. Okay, here's how. Here, here. Sure. All right, here's the simple, simple match. Finn Balor does the coup de gras to Leo Rush, win and wins right there. Finn is the new Intercontinental Champion, and then Bobby Lashley choke slams Leo Rush into the middle of the ring right afterwards. Yep. Pretty much. So those two are broken up. That <laughs> bromance is broken. Did you say about Mark Henry returning? Mark Henry returning? He was doing the only the um. Yeah, he should, he did a little interview. Are you sure he was doing an interview? He was just doing the thing for like the WWE Network, his life story. Yeah, he came out. And he was talking about who he wants to win. 
I didn't see that. I didn't watch the pre-show. It wasn't on the pre-show. I don't remember seeing that. It was right in the beginning of the... Uh, after this match. It was yeah. right in the beginning. He was saying he wanted the Iconics to win, and who was the other one? I don't know. Well, anyways, Ruby Riot versus Ronda Rousey. Oh, Kobe. That's who it was. And let's see, Ruby Riot and Ronda for the Raw Woman title. That was a three-minute match. Ronda beat her. Then, well, Charlotte comes out talking, blah blah blah. I'm the best. I'm the one who's superior. Becky's nothing. Then after the match, Ronda uh, ch uh, challenged Charlotte to come into the ring. Then out uh, coming in crutches is. Becky Lynch coming in, hobbling in, into the ring, then beats the crap out of um, Charlotte with the crutches, then throws one of the crutches to Ronda Rousey, and then she beats Ronda Rousey with the crutches, and then finally the security guards come in and take her away. And the one thing is, Becky met, uh, made uh, made uh, Ronda Rousey bleed. Yeah, right, right here. Right side of her head. It was real blood, and it was on their arms and everything. I I I said it might be a triple threat match, triple threat match at WrestleMania. Only well, better hype it. It better be the best match ever since they're hyping it up so much. And then this match, that Justin, I guess didn't even know what was happening. Yeah, Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman in a no DQ match. Give these hands. Yeah. Braun was actually win, uh, was actually in on fire. Until Baron Corbin dodged one of his little tra train wreck moves, and then Braun just gets instantly hurt by uh, by the steps. Then out comes Drew McIntyre with a chair, and then Bobby Lashley. All three of them beat him up. Yeah, no, they're stacking the ch tables. Like, yeah, they stack like two this. tables on top of each other, and then they did a shield power bomb to Bra uh, to Braun Strowman. Where's yeah. his help? Where's Braun Strowman's up? Where's Kurt Angle? I mean, come on. Braun always gets screwed. Of course. All the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. And then... While it's being set up for the Elimination Chamber, we see, um... What was it? Uh, Lacey Evans yeah, come out? Yeah, she no, here's what she does. She comes out, walks halfway down the ramp, then walks all the way back. Like, literally. Just teasing us. I'm like, look at me. I'm better than anybody else here. Yeah. And then we get our Elimination Chamber match. So we get Daniel Bryan and Samoa Joe starting. Um, and then Kofi Kingston and Styles. Then Jeff Hardy. And, of course, Randy Orton's last. Yep. The Viper. The Viper. Kofi was actually doing great. Uh, Kofi was really, really doing really well in this match. It, and it came out. It came down to just Daniel Bryan and Kofi. Yeah. Yeah, but what uh, Randy Orton did to uh, AJ Styles, wow. Yeah. Let's say Styles pinned Samoa Joe for the first elimination by a phenomenal form. Then Daniel Bryan pinned Jeff Hardy from a running knee. After Jeff Hardy did a small time on to AJ from the pod. And then, then, then Randy Orton pinned Styles by RKO while Styles was on the top rope about to do a phenomenal forearm to Kofi Kingston. Then Kofi Kingston pinned Randy Orton by a triple in paradise. Shocker. Yep. And Dan Bryan. Well, let's see. Da with Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston, that was like the highlight of this match. Like Kofi and Kofi was close. He kept getting close. He keep he's like, come on, come on, come on! I got this. Yeah, they try. They they tossed blows. They fucking did flips, kicks, the audience everything. Were having, the audience were chanting them. No, they were chanting chanting for Kofi. Yeah. But poor yeah. Kofi. He. He failed on the one di the one dive on top of the uh, it was the uh, the one top rope move. Yeah. He was on top of the uh, one of the chambers, and he missed, and he got hurt, and he got he landed face he he did a belly flop onto the ring, and then Daniel Bryan count it, it took it did a running knee, and there you go. Yeah, and then 
I was yeah. like, thank you, Kofi, and then New Days comes out. And he this says, you got this. This is your moment. I want to see Kofi get uh, a, uh, another opportunity. He, he deserves it. it. Yeah. After that kind of match and all that, f uh, the fan response, he, put he deserves it. He out there. He really did good. Yes. Yeah. He should get in a match, maybe. And out of the, yeah, because out of the new day, he's the one of the best ones I like. Maybe fast, fast way, maybe. Possibly. But I, w I would say that main that was the number one match. All right. Oh yeah. The Sasha, the 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 um the tag team match, should it could it should have been like Nia Jax and stuff. Uh, Nia Jax and Tamina could could have yeah, won that. Yeah, they should have won that. But Sasha Bailey. It just feels uh, it feels like a letdown. The Usos actually winning the tag team titles. That's actually pretty like a, uh, an exciting victory. We thought it was just going to be Shane, uh, Shane McMahon. Finn Balor. Pff, we were, uh, that that's that that's an, uh, that's an easy victory. Sorry, we won't see Shrimpy with La Booby anymore. Nope. Who knows? And definitely, anytime you have any other super uh, superstar with Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey is instantly winning. But at seeing Becky Lynch beat the crap out of them with crutches is the best highlight. Yeah. Braun getting screwed. Why would anybody want to see that? Oh, yeah, Or when uh, Shane jumps right through the table. And now, and Captain Planet w uh, wins his title. Yeah, Captain Planet. He's yeah. a hero. Also, that in the we've seen a fan of Luge. Oh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Luge Mania. I didn't see it, but... Yeah. You... Uh, she caught it. Missy caught it. Yeah. I was even in the room. Um... Anyway, uh, that's pretty much Henry, the no. chamber. And then Marie Snow says so she's pregnant. Oh, boy. With another so, kid. I have been... Monroe's gonna have, be a big sister. Oh, they're just trying to one-up the, the... The Danielsons. Yeah, so... How, how, what was your what's your ratings for this elimination chamber? What's your? I'll give it a B, or just a B plus. Yeah. yeah. If Kofi actually yeah. won, it would be a surprise, and it would just go to an A. Yeah, B. Negative A. So, yeah. So. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Yeah. Wonder Honestly. what's gonna happen on Tuesday, uh, to on SmackDown or More Raw. Raw. Yeah. It's probably gonna be exciting. exciting All I know is that the next NXT is gonna be way more exciting than Raw or SmackDown. They always are to take over. So. Well, listen. Yeah. Oh yeah, Raw. Raw. I don't know. Usually after a pay-per-view, pay -per -view, if it's not like um, WrestleMania. Or one of the bigger, big, big main event pay per views usually goes downhill. Yeah, I still say there's gonna be a triple threat at WrestleMania: Charlotte, Becky, and Ronda. And Becky's winning. I see it. Yeah. Okay, so how's the story supposed to go? Since let's see, Vince uh, Vince McMahon has suspended Becky Lynch. I mean. That doesn't really work story-wise. I mean, unless Becky has dirt on Vince McMahon and be like, "Listen, I want my time. I want that fight. You better do it, or I'm going public with all this, or uh, something like that." I'll figure something out. We'll have to see. Because here's the thing: Ronda can't qu say that I quit, because then they could just replace her. Or they could replace her. So I don't know. That kind of like backs in the corner. Because here's the thing. In any like, like a business or anything, if one of your employees just attacks one of your main the 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 main people, you don't reward them with a triple threat at WrestleMania. No, you fire them, or you fuck, or you say that you're banning them for a year or so or whatever, deducting their pay. You don't reward them, so that just kind of like throws everything out. There goes the suspicion of disbelief. Yeah. But then again, the disbelief is always, always, I don't know, ever since The Undertaker, we haven't see, heard any more of the words of The Undertaker or anything like that, everything's gone too real. It's basically uh, Smackdown and Raw have become like the DC Cinematic Universe. Um, I'm not talking about Aquaman or Wonder Woman, I'm talking about 
Batman versus Superman. Yeah. Yeah. NXT is raw. Uh, NXT is Mar is the Marvel universe, the okay. Marvel Cinematic one. And Raw SmackDown was DC. It is. It is. Think about it. You have Sasha Banks and Bailey, and most uh, most of the other superstars like. Yeah, most other superstars like Finn Balor was the king of NXT, right? Mm-hmm. When he quit, when he came to Raw, he was the first Universal t uh, Champion. Then he gets injured the, the, the that same night. Next day, has to relinquish his title. And ever since he came back, he hasn't they, they he hasn't been the same. They've bumped him from an A list superstar to a B tier or oh, close to D uh, to uh, D to C uh, C list C list. You know what? They need to bring the hardcore title back. That'd be something. No, oh, we heard we had news of uh, Kevin Owens coming uh, coming back soon. Oh yeah. During the Superstar yeah, Showdown, pizza. bring him back. I need Water the party pizza, man pizza. Like coming back. He says he don't like pineapple pizza, then he bites it again. No, let's do it. <laughs> We need the Kevin Owens show. Yeah, that's he's come on. I don't I guess well, I heard Bray Wyatt was supposed to come tonight, but he didn't show up tonight, so maybe SmackDown. That's what I heard. Oh yeah, bring back the Wyatt family. Well, it's only gonna be one because all the other guys have broken up. Um Rome was with Brian. <laughs> yeah, whatever happened to the the Bludgeon Brothers? It's like one minute they they were like tag team champions and then they disappeared after they lost. Mm. So. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So, make sure you like. Comment. comment. Like. Comment. Subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.